Okay, it's finally here. We have a game that offers both DLSS and AMD's FSR technology. Everybody wants to know which one's better. Can AMD compete against this machine learning? They work very differently. DLSS, well, I mean, in some ways they work the same. They both lower the resolution the game is rendered at and then try to upscale it to make it look like native. However, NVIDIA uses a machine learning algorithm running off the tensor cores of their RTX cards, meaning it only runs on their RTX 20 and 30 series cards, whereas AMD offers a solution that is compatible on way more uh, graphics hardware, including my GPU. I'm running an RTX 2070, if you're curious. So I'm gonna try running this uh, on both, and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna put the uh, best of the best, so uh, the different settings will reduce the render resolution of the game. I'm running the game at 1440p. I know some people have already tested this out, but most of them I've seen are doing it at 4K, but honestly, most gamers are actually playing at 1440p or even 1080p. So at 1440p, which one does the better job? I'm gonna do quality on DLSS, and I'm gonna do ultra quality on AMD's FSR, since that is the best version of each of them. And then we can check the frame rates out here in the top left, where we've got the current frame rate, the average, which I can reset when we switch to different things, and the 1% lows. You can see my GPU usage, and my GPU memory usage, and my system memory usage, all of that. CPU usage, if you're curious. Uh, by the way, I only just downloaded Necromunda for this, so this is literally the first, like, playable second of the game, so I'm sure other portions of the game are probably more demanding or something. Alright, so here's a look at native, just real quick. I'm just gonna run up and down this room and back. Here is a look at native. And now, let's go ahead and switch on DLSS. Notice our average frame rate there was about 70 uh, for that little run. Switching on DLSS to uh, quality, that's our best looking version. Let's see what happens to our frame rate. Frame rate is up massively. We're up over like 100 frames per second. And things are still looking pretty sharp. DLSS is a uh, impressive technology and yeah, that's what this thing is supposed to do. Okay, so we're up around this like 107, 105, you know, somewhere around there. Uh, frame rate using DLSS, and let's see what FSR can do. So we're going to go options, we're going to go video, we are going to go AMD's FSR on ultra quality. Notice this turns DLSS off, so if you were wondering, can you turn both of them on? I couldn't make it work. <laughs> let's see what happens. Alright, so right here, we are now, okay, not quite at the same frame rate level, but let's give it a second. Let's run around. So we're in the same ballpark. We're at 100 frames per second. Um, 101 now, do this loop a few times. Okay, so performance-wise, they're very, very close, although I'm seeing a slight, very slight. In terms of percentages, this is just a couple percentage off in favor of DLSS. I watched somebody else's video doing this at 4K and they actually saw a slight advantage to AMD. Um, so that's kind of interesting. Um, maybe I'll do a 4K test in the future, but my RTX 2070 isn't really a 4K card. All right, now uh, let's go ahead and look a little more in detail. What do I think about the image quality? I'm gonna stop here for a second. Let's take a look. That was using the AMD's FSR. And then let's go ahead and switch over to um, DLSS on quality, jump right back out, and what do you think? Can you actually tell much of a difference? Let's go ahead and switch it to native real quick. Oops, go ahead and switch it to native. Uh, where's my off button? Video, there we go. And we're gonna switch um, DLSS off. So here's the image at native. And let's do one uh, where we're going from native to FSR so that you can take a look at the details. Man, you guys will have the advantage of being able to pause the video, jump back and forth. By the way, you can do that. You can, you know, jump back from one scene to the other since I'm not editing in these one right after the other. Sorry, guys. I just got back from vacation and don't have time to do that editing. Um, man, that looks really close to native. I've got to say, FSR is doing a really impressive job here. 
Should we look at some other stuff, man? I mean, overall, I am quite impressed. This is a very good showing for AMD's FSR in this particular scene. I like to do more thorough testing, uh, maybe at other resolutions and other scenes in the game, uh, things like that. But as far as the first impressions go, man, that versus the DLSS quality. Again, slightly higher frame rate here. DLSS might look slightly softer. Am I wrong about that? Is DLSS looking a little bit softer to you guys? Not much. Now, it could just be that AMD is sharpening the image. So I'm not sure which one is closer to native, just looking around. But I almost feel like uh, AMD looks a bit sharper, which just to my eye is more pleasing. Oops, not to performance. Uh, eh. Eh, wrong thing. We want ultra quality FSR. Look at this, the, the best setting, the best DLSS settings at the bottom and the best uh, a FSR settings at the top. That's that's kind of annoying. Anyway, <laughs> not that big of a deal. Yeah, I don't know. I really, honestly, just playing the game here, not pausing this and zooming in images or anything, I'm having trouble distinguishing much difference. Okay, I saw a little flashing going on here in that scene right there on that green. Uh, let's see if that's still there at native, and then see if it's still there with um, uh, with DLSS. Sometimes DLSS can actually do things a little bit better than uh, native. Okay, that, that flashing is still there at native, so that wasn't introduced by FSR. FSR is the advantage of not really introducing new artifacts, but DLSS can sometimes actually improve the image uh, through its machine learning's guess at what a even higher resolution, you know, even more detail could look at, could look like. Um, look at that. That green's more stable using DLSS. Do you see that? Okay, in motion, there's still a little flickering to it. So DLSS is actually kind of stabilizing the green on that little scene there, right? DLSS is kind of stabilizing that. Let's give it one more shot again um, for FSR. So again, see at FSR, that green is not stable. See what I'm saying? And then at um, even at native, I don't think it's stable. All right, so here's native, okay? So FSR, in some ways, maybe that, that's showing that it looks closer to native. But like, and actually really like, should the green be continuing through? That, that's just a really interesting test case that these don't really produce the same image. Again, this is native. So DLSS made that more stable, although it made a solid green line, which I, I'm, when you look at it close, I'm not sure if it should be. Um, anyway, so interesting results. This is just my first impressions. I don't want to make an overlong video. Uh, both technologies look absolutely great, and I'm very, very happy we're seeing uh, more uh, more support and more competition in this space. Let me know what all you think in the comments. I read every comment on my channel, and I hope all of you have an excellent day.